the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh Prime Minister of Uganda. The fifth Prime Minister of Uganda, Dr. Samson Kiseka, was born in June 1912 in Mengo, Kampala. He grew up near what is now the capital city. His father was a chief and a strong believer of the Anglican Church. When he was nine years old, he went to Kira and Gongwe Central School, away from home in Nakefuma County. After five years, he was offered scholarship for secondary education at King's College, Budu. And later, he studied medicine at Makere University Medical School. Thereafter, he became a doctor, a self-confident young man and strong believer in self-sustainability. In 1939, he joined the Uganda Ministry of Health. He spent 14 years in Uganda civil service. He also played strategic role in fighting for recognition of African physicians. He was deeply involved in medical programs that benefit general public. And he's also a man of many talents. He was also an entrepreneur. He was involved in many businesses, ventures, Chassis Transportation Company, Farming Association, Dairy Corporation, Insurance Company. His career of politics began when he was elected to Buganda Lukiko to represent Santema constituency in Busiro in 1959 to 1964. He was Minister of Health in Buganda government he was also a spokesperson for the NRM during the Nairobi peace talk. He became Prime Minister in 1986, Vice President in 1991, and he retired in 1994. The sixth Prime Minister of Uganda George Cosmos Adyebo was born in 1947. A Ugandan politician an economist who served the nation as Prime Minister of Uganda between 1991 to 1994. He came from a wing village in Nambieko, sub-county, Kwania, in Apache. He studied at Nyapea College. His secondary school education was at Adoko, now called Equera Boys. He set, for, he set for his primary school certificate in 61. 
after a level in Namiliangu College, he went to Prague, the University of Prague. He graduated with a master degree in mechanization and automation management. He was also a system analyst, a programmer at the Ministry of Finance before he was transferred to the Ministry of Education. He also lectured at Makere University Business School. Mr. Cosmos Adiapo died in 2000 after battling cancer for a long time. The seventh Prime Minister of Uganda, Kintu Musoka, was born in 1938, a Ugandan politician who served the nation from 1994 to 1999 before being appointed to head a task force on AIDS in Uganda. He also served as an advisor to the president. He comes from Masaka district. He attended Kabungo Native Anglican Church School and Buwere Primary School, and later transferred to King College Budo for his all level and advanced level education. He holds a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Philosophy, and Journalism, obtained from Delhi University in India. When he returned to Uganda, he decided to join politics as a UPC youth mobilizer in 1965. He was later expelled from the party by UPC Secretary General John Kakonge. He then joined the Uganda Patriotic Movement in 1986. He got round to NRM with his degree in journalism. In 1963, he joined Paul Mwanga and Bidandi Sali and started the African Pilot, a newspaper representing leftist wing. He was also a member of Uganda Journalist Association. As I said before, most of our present leaders pass through Uganda People's Congress Youth Wing. Let's be honest with one another. 
as I covered the president, the elections, the prime ministers, I came across the truth. And the truth is, whether we like it or not, we are still being ruled by the same people who brought us into, in, into independence. All those leaders you see moving around, most of them were Uganda People's Congress Youth Wingers or the Democratic Party Youth Wing. That is when you realize that the game is being played and all roads seem to lead to King's College Budo, Trinitare, and Busoga College Mwiri. There you see the whole boys agreement. Very strong. It's stronger than anything. But if you ask me, what sort of people do we have in Uganda? I would simply say, we have two different types of people. The rich and the poor. But within the rich and the poor, you have a category of people They call themselves the Hand Hill Hunters. And then you have another group who are the Chameleon. Now, this type of people, the Hand Hill Hunter, you find them among the poor people because they sit there, they wait for these people to bring them salt, to give them waragi, and they can sit on top of the anthill for many years without making their life better. And then you have among the rich people who behave like a chameleon. And these are the type who keep changing their color. Today they are red. Tomorrow they will be blue if they come where their heart is blue. They will be red if they are on, the, on, on, on top of a tree during summer. They will be green when the winter, when, 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 when we are in autumn. So you have this. If you ask me how many, what sort of Ugandans we have, we have the two Ugandans, the rich and the poor. And then you have the anthill hunters and the chameleon. They keep changing their colors like that of a chameleon. And these are the leaders we have today. They have not yet come out to tell us the truth about who they are. But they are real chameleon. And believe me, they love this business of what they call a gentleman agreement. 
as I said before, that there is no honor among politicians of today. You can be friends today. And tomorrow, you start throwing stone against one another. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be back.